I encourage everyone to take a moment and breathe and take a tea cheers with a Jiri tea. A Jiri tea recognizes the beauty in shared stories and shared opportunities. Ajiri sources award-winning tea from Kenya, employs women in the region to handcraft the labels, and sends 100% of the profits back to the region to support orphan education. Save 10% on your order of Kenyan teas and coffee with the code BEAUTIFULLYHUMAN at ajiritea.com. A-J-I-R-I-T.com. Tea mugs up! Hello, and welcome to the Beautifully Human podcast. I'm Nick Sheesby. In this podcast, I speak with beautiful humans from all around the world, sharing with you their incredible stories, revealing the power in every human story to spread love and humanity to a world that is in desperate need of it, to show that we can all connect in beautiful ways, no matter where we come from or what we look like. What you will find out is that we are all beautifully human. Let's all be beautifully human. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Beautifully Human podcast. I am Nick Sheesby, and today I am chatting with a good friend of mine who I have the pleasure of calling a good friend. Uh, His name is Cliff Riley, and I just truly hope that you feel the joy that I felt while having this conversation. And since I've had Cliff as a part of my life as a friend, um, just amazing. Enjoy this conversation. And, uh, you know, the usual follow on Instagram, the Beautifully Human podcast, follow on Spotify, rate and review on Apple Podcasts. We love that. I love that. Uh, yeah, enjoy, feel the joy. So how you doing, man? It's good to see you. Yeah, man. It's good, brother. All is well. Yeah. Awesome. You take one, everything one day at a time, bro. You know? Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> day at a time. Just make moves, man. Yeah. You know what's crazy is I was looking at um, something came up on Facebook yesterday, and it was exactly one year ago yesterday that we met you. We were down in yeah. Nassau. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, that's so cool. I was, I was looking and I was like, I'm talking to Cliff in the morning. And it was a year ago that we met. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty yeah. cool, man. Mm, yeah. Um. So, yeah, dude, I'm excited to have you on chatting on my podcast. Yeah, yeah man, no problem, brother. Yeah, man, no problem. Just been, so, just been pushing and plugging. Just been trying to stay busy and stay active, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll just ask you a few questions and we'll just have a nice chat. And then I'll no, problem, no problem, brother. No problem, brother. No problem. Yeah, so we met at Eat Right Delights in That's Nassau. Right. Yep. And it was so cool. I we walked in and you were you were getting getting your food and then you just came at us with such joy and it was so cool. And then you started singing for us, and that was amazing. And I, I just remember, like, how, yeah, how how awesome w- we felt after we met you, and like had a good conversation. And I, I, I've just continued to feel that that friendship ever since. Yeah, man, connection, man. That's right, connection. So t- oh, tell okay. me, tell me about your life, my friend. Oh, um, <laughs> um, you know, humble beginning, humble beginning. Came from my beginning, um, you know, um, grew up in a single parent home, you know, so you know, face challenges, but a uh, male figure there to uh, to show you what it is to be a man, you know. Um, um it's a person who loved the person who loved the creator, man who loved the creator, you know. Now I'm a father, you know, businessman, entrepreneur, songwriter, producer. You know, um, again, one is a lover of the creator, one was a lover of life. And, and you know, and one who just, one who just, um, just grabbing greater understanding of self, you know, and a purpose, self and a purpose will put you for, you know. Um, yeah, I'm just a simple man, I'm just Cliff, just me, just Cliff. 
you know, it's Clef. He said, and all I can do is be Clef and be the best Clef I can be, you know? I need no titles, I need no name, I need no name brands, none of that. I just need to be me and my divine creator, and I'm good. That's just me. Simple, my man, simple. Yeah, and I, I mean, like I said earlier, I, I, I felt I felt that from you when we walked in, you know, we... We'd never been to the Bahamas, and you know it was it was it was an awesome experience just walking around. And then we walked in there, and you were the first person we met on the island. And it was just like, man, if everybody on this island is Cliff, then this place is magic. <laughs> yeah, <I'm>, uh, <laughs> I know. I, I know. Um, it was, yeah, it was just so such a good welcome to the island. You know, it was just that the good vibe, just smiling and talking and. It was just yeah. so neat, man. Um, and you, at that point, you were doing, um, you you were running a tourism business, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm transportation tour, taxi tour, transportation business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And was that the one you had that was called Cliff Hanging? Yep, Cliff Hanging. That's right, Hanging with Cliff. Yep. I, I love, I love that. When I when I found you online. Um, and I saw it was cliffhanging and then I, I looked and I was like, man, what a great name for a tourism company when you take it, when you're taking people around the island. So oh, right. you hang, you hang in with Cliff. Yeah. So w- tell me about the experience you would get with hanging with Cliff. Oh, wow. It's, it's a wonderful experience because you meet a multifacet of people from all different creed, color, race, culture. You know what I mean? Knowledge, understanding. So <laughs> we definitely got to be a person who have great understanding to be able to deal with the multifaceted of people that you're going to be dealing with. I mean, I love it because I love dealing with people. You know, I love dealing with people, even though sometimes, sometimes human beings can can get on your nerves. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, but you know, I I've, I've learned to, uh, I've learned how to sort of tap into the people and um. I've learned how to bring out the best and people and I've learned how to make people feel comfortable first being around themselves. Yeah. You got to have the truth within yourself because if you are, you are afraid of me because you must remember now, Nick, let's be straight up. I live on a land where majority of the people are off of African descent. So they're what they're called black. Yeah. So it's most of the tourists coming in are those who are, who are at American Canadians, Europeans, and they are they are white. You know what I mean? Yeah. So here is you're you're calling a six foot two big black man that <laughs> smiling in your face and yeah. you have to look into this man's eyes and say, Can I trust this man? Right. The whole thing is can you trust yourself? <laughs> right. Absolutely. Can you, can you trust yourself? You know what I mean? To design and know that who you're riding with, who you're picking with all. You just here to just like I really, I really, I really tourists. I'm just here to have a good time and blah, 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 blah. Not to really feel the spirit of the, of the island. Not to feel the spirit of the people, you know, not to embrace the spirit that is in the land, you know, itself. But if you just come here on a, just say, hey, have a good time, blah, 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 do whatever I want to do. And, and then that's a whole different situation. But I have to deal with all of that. Sure. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it's great to serve, you know. That's why you have to have that serving attitude. Yeah. Because say, if you want to become great, say serve. You know, what I mean, you want to become great, serve. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just so. That's that's such a beautiful way to put it. Like you have to you have to trust yourself when you when you come to that place and see you coming towards them. You know, it, it is such a. But like, for me, I just felt I, I like I'm I I'm good at reading energy, so I, I felt the second we walked in into the to eat right delight it was just like oh this is this is a wonderful human right here and this this is a person we got to talk to yeah man so that was that was super cool and um what what were some some pretty cool experiences that you've had when uh, when you were going around with you know cliffhanging with, with some of your groups um um just just to sometimes to see the awe of people, to see the awe, and then when they understand the history of the land, the land is steeped in other history, you know. Um, and then you know, it's just, just, it's just to see how many folks came there and they were transformed. 
the whole attitude perceptions, the whole attitude perception is changed, you know, about people, some people, you know. Because, I mean, don't, you know, we, we, we face it here, we see it here too, the, the battle between black and white, you know, because we're all one human. Mm-hmm. You know, we all one human. Um, it's like family, you know, it's like big brother, little brother fighting. And and when 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 um when the races understand that this is family fighting, you all family. Yeah. You know what I mean? They realize that you know you are family. It started started with one and then all came out of that one. So we all family. Yeah. But um family do have their disputes. Right. Um and then we talk about we want peace you want a better world but once once we get the understand once you get the know understand hey we all one that you black white you know what i mean yeah you all one you know then when you go back and you you you, st- you study and you say it's history because you know everybody has a story to tell you know mm-hmm. what i mean and you say it's history you come to realize again all one yeah so one but um yeah man, um Experience, is, is, you know, it just, it just dealing with, with people, and I, like I said, love people, and just dealing with them. It just, just to deal with them was just to deal with the different, like levels of attitude and way of some people think and their culture, how they do thing. It was, it was educational for me too, because I got to learn the different people. And then their culture, get to understand some of their culture as well. I'm coming here embracing mine, you know? So sometimes stopping by the fish fry, they're stopping by the beach, yeah. you know, with, with the little family, with their children, and, and we skipping rocks across <laughs> the water. So I'm showing a little boy, little girl, how to skip rock across the water, you know, and, and, and we, you know, and we by the beach taking pictures or exploring some of the historical sites, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, I mean... <laughs> It's some great experience. That's some experience that for me, I don't go over the big thing. Right. The little small, the little smaller things and but more significant. Yeah. So seeing family let their shoulders down and really relax. Like, right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's so beautiful. Like I I love traveling because of the culture, because of, right. of, of the humans that you get to meet in in those right. places that you go to. I mean right. There's beautiful things to see all over the world, but there's beautiful yeah. humans all over the world to make yeah. to enhance that experience. So I love that you know yours is centered around culture and showing people your culture. You know, giving them that comfortability that yeah, their yeah. shoulders let down and then they breathe yeah. a little bit. And yeah. that, you know, as you were talking just at the end there, I, I, it's so cool that you're like I'm teaching these kids to skip rocks and. <laughs> I can't tell you every time I go to some body of water, I grab some rock. I like I'd look for rocks and I start skipping them. Right. You know, right. so what I'm thinking is just how cool for these kids to be like later on in life, anytime they go by water, they're skipping rocks and they're thinking about Uh-oh. you and Nassau in the Bahamas because yeah. you taught them that. Yeah. Like I met a family, I met a family, um, I have a son named Keegan and a little girl named Kylie, Sky, Sky, name is Sky. And it's a connection, you know what I mean? Like the other day, the other day, um, the mother reached out to me. These people I met on my tour, mother reached out to me, the, fam, the Bond family, the last name is Bond, Katie and, and her mother. And the mother reached out to me um, the daughter reached out to me, who was the mother of the son and daughter. And the, the little girl was excited to talk to me. Like, she was genuinely cons- excited to talk to me. The son, Keegan, too, he's about 13, because I'm giving him advice. And, you know, yeah, um, a father figure's not there in his life. Mm. Um, but here I am, across the waters, and then whenever we communicate, I'm, I'm, giving him, I'm giving him words of wisdom, you know, words of life as a man. It doesn't matter because it doesn't matter because um, he's a he's a he's a he's a white he's a white um, young man or it's no he's a man yeah 
I'm giving him principle of life because if I could give him principle of life that can help him govern himself, you know what I mean? That's easier for me. <laughs> right. That make life easier for me. Yeah. I mean, as one less human, I'm going to have a conflict with him in many ways. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I yeah, love, so... I, I just love ahead. that. It just it just shows your heart, man. I, I think you yeah, have man. such a beautiful heart. Yeah, man. It's real, you know? It's real. You know, it's the balance. You know, it's a balance, the yin and the yang, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But it's time for everything. But the greatest of all, you know, and it's just like you say, is love. No, great of all is love. Love is every love conquers every love covers everything. Sometimes love gotta be stern. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes love gotta be soft. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But it's all love. <laughs> yeah. Um so you you said you, you have two daughters, right? Yes. yes. How old are your daughters? I have a I have a six year old and an eleven year old. Amazing. Yeah, a six year old girl on 16, 11 year old girl on 110. <laughs> so they got some old souls, you know? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. imagine I imagine that challenges your love in, in amazing ways. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. So how 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 is it how has being a father changed your life? Well, it's kind of explain about I say this. It made me a better man. Yeah. Yeah, it made me a better man. I, I, I think more for people. I thought I was thinking for people, then I think more for people. You know, I'm more considerate, more compassionate. I thought I was compassionate, but it took it to a whole nother level. I thought I knew what love was. Oh, man. Not to, not to, when you have the love for another human being that came out of you. They might see it. They came out of me, bro. Yeah. I plant I plant them in that woman to say she's good earth to plant some seeds in, to grow a harvest of a family. You know what I mean? To build, to build um, to build something that's gonna honor the creator. You know, I, I man, I'm on it. I'm a king. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on it, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful, man. And you know, it I like anytime I listen to your music, it, it just comes out in that. And it's such a beautiful yeah. message that, that you have in your music. So yeah. talk to me about your music for a bit. Oh man, um my music. My music, I, I was born to be a messenger. That's why it's created to be a messenger. So my music is gonna be filled with messages. Some messages some people might not want to hear some people some men are like but it's message that is needed you know what i mean um my music the message my music is never going to be to pull down but it's going to be to uplift you know i don't need to pull nobody down to come up so it's never going to pull down my the message the music that i bring is going to encourage you to think you know to think the music that um i bring the music uh and i bring it in different genres i don't I'm not going to limit myself because there was never a limit to music. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the divine creator created music. He created music. He didn't create genres. So us, we, we become with these different genres. Oh, like, oh you're going to do hip hop. Oh, you're going to do rap. When you do reggae. Oh, you're going to do rock and roll. Oh, you can only do grass, true blues, all of that. I'll do any type of music that's going to be a, that's going to bring a message to uplift hearts, minds, and spirit. You know, and to connect them to the divine creator. So, so I'm pushing, working on several projects right now, shooting some music videos for the project, uh, working on this project now called Take the Blocks Back. Mm, um, yeah. this, this song is generally speaking to the message, you know what I mean, to, uh, to, uh, to wake up my brothers and sisters and listen, man, you got to stop killing yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Nick, before I can help you, I got to know how to help myself. Right. I can't come to Nick and say, oh, Nick, I'm going to help Nick, help Nick or or help this one, or help this race, or that race, yeah, man. I gotta, I gotta build me, and build me with the understanding to know who I am. And then from sense I can build me, I can strengthen me, I can strengthen you, because I know now what it is to strengthen me. You see? Yeah. Because we all want. So that's what my music, that's what my music is. My music, I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting into that black or white thing. No, I'm not. 
No, that's not my music's not about a black or white thing or the green, but I have to speak to my people to wake them up. Yeah. You know, let them know time to wake up now. Time to be light, time to be salt. So I do it however the, the creator leads me, whether it be gospel, um, reggae, hip hop, R and B, jazz, whatever. He put it in me to bring a message, I'm gonna bring it. And that is what I'm doing right now, shooting the video right now. Oh, I can't um, wait to see it. Yeah, getting ready for that. Take the blocks back. Yeah, getting ready to shoot that right now. And then getting work on another one for this song right here. I don't know if it's play. This song is called Gotta Get It. Uh, hold on, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's your man, Big Bro. That's right. Red eyes. Yeah. Tommy Scott. Yeah. Gotta get it. They're turning back now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Many dotted on me, so I gotta get it. So I gotta get it. So I gotta get it. Many risk for my fault, so I gotta get it. So I gotta get it. So I gotta get it. So I got to get it, many with from my fault, so I got to get it. Man, it's time to come back to myself. Them wrong thoughts are not good for my health. Shady like a snake, you better watch your back. You know what I mean? So that's going to be a club banger. Yeah, man. I but love then that. The then in the message. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love the positive, the positive message in there. And especially, you know, the, the message to men in your, in your yeah, songs. Man. Yeah, man. You know, it's a good challenge that you're that you're putting out there. Trust me, it ain't no joke. Because you know, we could be the hard, we could be some of the most hard headed set of humans, man. Yeah. <sighs> or we could be big at it. Oh man. Oh, we got the ego. Ooh, we mm -hmm. got egos. E That's what costs us. Pride come before the fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I I, I think that's so so needed and it's so amazing that that you know that's part of your message you know just all all around positivity but also a challenge to men to exactly to man man like i you know i i i see it happen a lot you know like when i'm having these conversations you know like i see like men hold back you know or so there, there's something when when there's when you're trying to have connection with men, they get this like yeah. ego, male ego coming in. And it's just like, just yeah. drop that out of there, man. Let's just, let's just be people and let's just be humans and chat and, yeah. you know, like Treat. be, be more accountable, you know? Yep. Yep. Because yeah. you, must, you must remember now when you read, the, when you read from the scrolls, you read from the scrolls and many scrolls, but you look at most of the scrolls that you that you will read from, and it talk about the conquest of many men, some great, some not so great. They always wanted to put the blame on somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very true. <laughs> they made me do it. This one made me do it. I had to do it because of this. I had to do it because of that. You did it because you made a decision, bro. Right. You gain some, you gain some knowledge. You grab some understanding. Your understanding told you this is the best way to handle this. So that's what you did. Just say that. Yeah. It wasn't. It it, it 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 wasn't all the way the right thing to do. But now I see where I went wrong, and now I had to correct it. Money men don't want to say I went wrong. Right. I mean, not to dive in too much to politics, but I mean, think about every like all the politicians out there. Wasn't it like you know, especially this you know last couple of years in in my and in, in the states, you yeah. know, it's like it's everyone, true. it's somebody else, it's somebody else. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, you know. And I'm like, at what what point do you sit up, stand up and say, yeah, take uh, accountability, take yeah. responsibility, yeah, a bunch of garbage, man, they are garbage. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty disheartening to watch from it all is. the way at the top of just like, well. <laughs> I'm facing the same thing, yeah. So don't feel bad, brother. It's a thing you must understand. See, Nick, you have been you have been unplugged from the matrix. Mm -hmm. From since you've been unplugged from the matrix, you know what I mean? You're seeing things different, brother. Yeah. 
Definitely. You actually seen the lines. You seen all the lines. You seen you seen all the deceptions. Mm-hmm. All the lies. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the preconceived wicked notions. Everything. You've seen it now. You've seen it. Because you, you've been unplugged. Yeah. So now you've seen it, yeah, man. And you can see your energy, your energy, your vibration, your frequency, your frequency high. Everybody low, your frequency high. So you've seen it. Yeah. Come on. Um, so what um when you were growing up, what what music were you listening to growing up to to Everything. form your inspiration? Everything. I will be there up and over. I was the strangest black boy in my neighborhood in the ghetto. <laughs> like listening to Hall and Oaks. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, yeah, she come. Watch your boy she true you up. Whoa, whoa, yeah, she come. She's a man eater. Only come out at night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Listen to Elvis Presley. You know what I mean? Yeah. So don't you step on my blue suede shoe. Love me tender. Love me true. Never let me go. You have me my life from bleed. You know what I mean? I was listening to everything. Chuck Berry. Oh, yeah. You know, Stock Wagon Gang. I was listening. You know, now as I, as I grew up, the music changed. You know, started listening to the Fat Boys, Comedy. I used to listen. I used to watch the Donnie Marie Osmond show. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Donnie Marie Osmond show, Jackson 5. You know, so as you grow, you know, you start. The music got diverse, but I always love music, gospel. Yeah. I used to love Mahalia Jackson, you know what I mean? Um, all of them, Johnny Ace. I used to love those old ones. Like, um, who was one of my um, big bopper? Chantilly Lace, oh, no pretty one. face, and a pony ponytail, tail, hanging down, down and a wiggle, wiggle little little walk in the giggle in the dark. Hey, <laughs> love <laughs> makes the world we'll go, go round. Oh, ain't nothing in the world but a big eyed girl. Made me act so funny, funny. make me spend my money, money. make me feel real loose, make me feel real loose. Oh, baby, you know, you know what, what I, I like. like. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> the big bopper. Big bopper, <laughs> buddy, yeah, but I. <laughs> I actually have that on vinyl, which is so funny. I hadn't thought about that one in a long time. It's a classic, brother. That is a classic. That's a classic. Brother. And it's it's one that it, the second you said it, I it, like that started flowing in my mind. So that's yeah. so good. Oh yeah. man, that takes me back. Yeah. yeah. I re- I remember hearing that on the oldies radio stations, and I loved the Big Popper. Yeah, I just love I just love all of them. Oh, I just yeah. love I just dude, I love I am music. Yeah. So any music come to me that connects with me and don't let the music be on the frequency that I can get something from out of it. Oh man, I'm music. I love music. I'll I'll, I'll embrace it. Anything that is not, I shun it. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm music. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, when we met too, you were talking about, and I, I'm sure it didn't happen because of COVID, but the the gospel awards you were you were headed to in Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, I was nominated for five different awards. Several other things come after that too, so that I couldn't go because of COVID. Yeah. yeah. Nominated for five different awards. Um, new, new artists, artists of the year, video of the year, um, best, I think, international hip hop song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's all good, you know, COVID 19, shift everything. But it, yeah. it, it did something for the better, you know? Yeah. You know? I mean, I think I think if people actually look at the time it gave them this year, I, or, okay. la- you know, last year and now into this year, well into this year, you know, I, I think so many people, well, I know so many people, uh, just the pace of life is just a furious yeah. pace. And it, Yep. And I think if if people have actually looked at the time that they've been able to spend with their family or, you know, pivoting and creating something new, you know, I, I think it, it it was a beautiful it was beautiful in, in some ways. You know, it's it's yep. been massively yep. devastating, of course, but you know yep. if you find the silver linings, they're there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how has how has it been in the Bahamas with COVID? Um, it's 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 been challenging, you know, because you know the lockdowns, um, um, the social dissonance, nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, um, folks cannot provide for themselves like how how they really want to. 
So, you know, it's, 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 it's been a challenge. Yeah. You know? But um, we had to, we had to, we had to, we had to learn to deal with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Learn to deal with it, learn to, um, learn to um, accept it and then accept it. And once you embrace it for what it is, then you know how to deal with it. Yeah. You know, like I had a conversation with some of this morning. Like I went early this morning. Like I was up, I was up from like the last to four. And then I work out. And then did a little workout. Went by the beach, worked out. And you know, I was with a friend. And I, you know, I was telling her, she's working out. I tell her, listen, the first thing to, to cure in anything or to bring in any healing to anything, any circumstance situation is to accept the reality and the truth of it. You know? Yeah. And accept, accept where you went wrong. Once you accept where you went wrong, then you can fix it. Yeah. Um, so did I see you started a new company yep. recently? Yeah, me and my brother started Riley Brothers Landscape and General Maintenance. Riley Brothers Landscape and General Maintenance Company. And out of this, we got, we got, um, we got two contracts. We got one contract, two contracts with the government. Okay. Um, this department, yeah, uh, one is Department of um, Parks and Services. So oh, we wow. got to take care. The, 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 the roadside for them, keep it clean. Um, you have to do that um, every month. And then um, we were, I was building a roof for social services for the people that are helping in the area of renewal. So I, I had to repair a roof. <laughs> was that yeah. something that you had, all, had always done or was that something? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Stuff I pick up as it's coming up, growing up. Yeah. Because, you know, Growing up, you worked. You worked. You worked as a as a young man in the summertime. Oh sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. For me, I'm, I'm I give thanks for that. Some of the other fellas are hanging on the blocks. You know, you, you can see where, where what reward they receive for it. Yeah. And for me, who went and you know, work and did with the carpenters and the masons, I, I can see the reward the reward I'm reaping for it now, because now I can um I can um operate the business, you know, and I can. He can um, um, delegate and and hire and put people in position and tell them what I need done. Do it myself. Yeah, you know what I mean. And tell them, show them, um, and me to know how it needs to be done properly. Because you remember now, I'm building a brand and I'm putting my name behind it. Yeah, so it has to be done right. Yeah, man. Yeah. So. And, yeah, and it, it goes back to your your service. You know, of like. Exactly. You, now now you get to provide employment and skills to mm -hmm. to your employees which is a mm -hmm. really beautiful thing especially mm -hmm. in, in in this day and age mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep yep yeah. yeah see um what i come to realize even when you just see with humans once humans understand two people come together and recognize that listen now we're a team we are as strong as the weakest one of us. Once you can get a group of human to understand, if we can strengthen the weakest of us, we become the most powerful team there is. Yeah. So the same thing, me working with the fellas on the roof, is working them on the roof, is seeing the weakness, the strength, and putting them together to work with one another and say, listen, this is what you do to help it here. This is what you do to help it here. And watch when it all comes together. And watch it. We knocked out the roof, did the roof, and knocked out the roof within a week. Yeah. That's work amazing. Done. Manpower then. Done properly too. Work was done. Yeah. And how, so you're working with your brother. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Um, my father, God rest his soul in um, peace. My father had, besides myself, my brother, Ricky, Gordon, Andre, uh, my father had about five, but five sons. Okay, but five sons, and I can probably say about five or more daughters because my father was a Rolling Stone. Where he had was his home. Yeah, yeah, he just loved the women, and I, I, it, it, it's, it's, oh, I love women, but because it's natural to love a woman because that's how the father set it up, designed it, foster. Us to come together to make one, but um, 
just principle on self and knowing how to govern self, not to make just you tracing behind women in your life, you know, and, and a lot of men don't want to hear that, especially a lot of black men. They figure like they got to lay with all type of different women. Right. That are black, right. So they got to lay all type of different women to make some a man. You're not making yourself a man. No. You know I mean? No, you're not. You're making yourself into a little boy, into a child. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Hmm. God is good, man. The greatest dread. So do you, yeah. do you know, do you, have you met all of your brothers? Do you know all of your brothers? Um, basically, yeah, I just, I just, I just talked to one of my older brother, um, a few days ago. Yeah. Met him, uh, where he's, where my brother say he works and we chatted up for a minute, you know? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And they got a bit more connection. My other brother. Um, was in Freeport, you know, we reach out, um, reach out to him. Um, it's in a position that I could, uh, show him some support after the hurricane, you know? Yeah. They hit, they got, they got hit hard by Dorian. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, yeah. My sister, my sister just became the PGA president for the Bahamas. Wow. Yeah. My sister's a golf pro. Yeah. She, that's amazing. Sure. Mm. Wow. That's incredible. Beautiful person. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, so, oh, man. So what is, is there, with P, with the Golf Pro, what, is there, is there, um, is there a tournament? I mean, not right now, of course, but like, no. is, there, is there a tournament down there with the PGA? Well, they have people who are playing on the different okay. private courts, and but they're preparing them. Got you. You know? she's preparing for something she's preparing for something you know and you know I'm, I'm definitely gonna do my part to help her yeah you know i can do my definitely do my part to help her uh, help her with um with my um knowledge and the gift in the music to help her market and promote herself properly or we can do something serious <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> that's amazing yeah. um yeah. So I always like to ask ask this to everybody that I that I have on my podcast. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, COVID COVID restrictions aside, uh, if I came down to you and I, I had a plane ticket to anywhere in the world, where would you where would you fly to? I want to go Africa. Any any place in Africa specifically? Um, I would definitely like to go back and and visit the land of ancient Kemet. Mm. I want to feel the spirit of the kings them there. You know what I mean? Then I yeah. want to go up. I want to go like up in Zimbabwe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Feel the spirit of the kings them there. You know, go up in um Nigeria, West Africa. But that's where my people, as they say, came from. A slave. They call it the Ibu tribe. Okay. And they come to front of the Ibu tribe. You know, because you know there's a dispute when they talk about who are the true descendants of the, the Israelite and so forth. And if we know that we, if we want to be true, if we know the truth, yeah. you know what I mean? We know the true Israelite well. You know, they were, you know, the true Israelite were people of color, man. Yeah. The men, the men of them, were, they were dark skinned people, dark skinned yeah. men. So, you know, not to disrespect nobody. So we, you know, but just to go back and just to feel the spirit. Just to, I mean, I can feel it from here. I can feel it. That's what powers me. Yeah. That's what powers me, you know? It powers me because we're all connected. Mm. I can feel the energy from here. But when I read and I study about ancient Kemet and different stuff about religion, and they show you where religion came from. Because what they present as religion is garbage, man. Right. Nothing to do with the That's all man, man made. Yeah, absolutely. To put themselves in a position to put themselves above another man. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get I get frustrated with that a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 just something that should be so beautiful and loving and accepting, and it has turned into something that is just not that. Because it's all man, it's nothing right? Of the most all man. Yeah, no human emotions and feelings and ideology, and that they can put all together and compile them into a doctrine. This is so we are we gonna do it? <laughs> man, whatever. Yeah, you can't tell me who to love, bro. Tell them you hate. I hate spirits. I hate wicked spirits. Right. The wicked spirit might come in a beautiful black body. Might come in a beautiful white body. Yeah. I hate it. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> she had a wicked spirit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm with you, man. And I like when I was growing up, it was that was really hard for me to understand. I grew up in a small town in Ohio and Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was that was what I <laughs> really didn't like about growing up in that. You know, it was like, well, from my understanding yep. of it, it was like any religion in the world starts off with love and acceptance, right? That that is the baseline of it all. And then like what I was seeing was just not hey. that. It was all hate, man. But your mama now. If I want to deceive you, I cannot come deceiving you, giving you aloe vera first. Right. I got to give you honey. Mm. Love is the honey. <laughs> yeah. But then afterwards, then you start seeing the bitter stuff come out. Now, some bitter stuff is good for you. You know what I mean? Like for me, aloe is good for you. Right. Drinking some bitters is good for you. You know what I mean? But the whole thing is what the intent was. When I drink that bitters, that, when I drink that bitters, is it going to make me better? Or it's going to make me more bitter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's so true. Yeah. It, so, yeah, I just never, it just always, yeah. it frustrated me. It's all man. Yeah. All man. Nothing to do with the creator. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it all, yeah, it was all just funneled into one person, you know, a man, a man's view on what they wanted to, to push out. See, this is maybe how I want to serve God. This is how I'm going to honor the creator. Well, you know, the um, the creator, his name is not God. God is what, God is what you call him the, the deity because you say he's God, you know, but uh, yeah, you got to go back and say, say, say what, what they call him before and then for those who who are who who who, say, who are descendants of the children who are descendants you know what I mean so what they call him there was a there was a name you know what I mean because God is just a just a, you call it D God it's like me saying dog the dog has a name what is the dog name or oh, the dog name is 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 Charlie then call the dog Charlie yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, mighty dog Charlie! The mighty dog Charlie. I <laughs> oh, love that. I love that. Um, so I also like to ask, ask these couple questions. Um, um, what would you want the world to know about you, Cliff? Just a nobody. That's all I know. I'm nobody. You know what I mean? Just trying to. Walk in his purpose, it's, you know, to walk, we're trying to walk the best in his purpose, it's calling, you know what I mean? And, and man who always seek understanding, you know, seek knowledge, you know what I mean? Yeah, but understanding, understanding is make you wise. Understand the why. Some things you might not understand the why, but still get it. Yeah. Understand why you don't understand the why. And then you'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think I think that's something that um I think more people need to strive for. Is yeah. I'm nobody, bro. I'm, no matter no matter where I go, no matter the money I earn, no matter you know, how many material things I got, they're none. I'm none without them. I, I don't have them now. I don't have a bunch of things now. But when I get them, I was in a position, I was in positions, man. I drown people. I drown people who I could uh be a leech on them just to be around them because of the things they have and just, you know, think I'm living. Nah, bro. <laughs> Wrong man. Yeah. I'm a king. I was born to be a king. You know, working on this song called Blind No More. You know, I ain't blind no more. I was born to be a king. Live life so others can see the light that shine within them. I ain't blind no more. I was born to be a king. Live life so others can see the light that shine in them. Yeah, man. I love that. That's mm. So good, man. And I, I yeah, I just love. 
Every, uh, anytime I talk to you, man, I get so much joy and I, I just feel that from you. I, I, I think it's just so infectious, you know, like this whole time oh, I'm just like, I, uh, brethren, know, I just, man. Keep... See, see in the Bahamas, it's Bahamas. We say you's my brethren. Yeah. All right. You became my brethren because yeah. we connect in the spirit. They say no, no man by the flesh and by the spirit. Yep. So we connect in the spirit. So from since you connect in the spirit, you is my brethren. You know, one can't tell me anything different. I don't care who it is. That's right. how it is. Yeah, man. My bed. Yeah, that was super cool because the first time we came down and then we came back like a week later and we got to we got to see you. It was quicker the la- the second time because you were you were mm-hmm. hustling. You were out you were mm-hmm. out doing your thing. But man, mm-hmm. it was so cool. And I just I can't wait to for that day when, when we get to travel again and get to come yeah, down. Mom. Get get to come mm-hmm. down and, and see you again. Yeah, mom. Come on, come and relax. It'd be one of them days saying I'd be running around. That's yeah. why I positioning myself. Because that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing last year. I was positioning myself that I end up to be too much running around, but still yeah. running around. Yeah. If I could be more relaxed. And so certain people, you know, I mean, who are close to me when they come, I could just just, you know, my time is yours. Now let's just do do the beach, whatever. Go snorkeling, whatever, spare fishing, whatever we want to do. Yeah. That day within the day, get it in that day and everybody just have a good time. You know, I could cook too. I cook for myself. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. That all sounds amazing. I would love to. I would love to just have that. Get down, hang with you. Get to see. Get to see your island and and your mm-hmm. in your you know do some cliff hanging. I'm setting up an environment even by my house, so I can just bring the world to my house. We go in the back of the yard, you know. what I mean, build a studio, build a studio over in the back there too. Also, you know what I mean. So you know, yeah, that's why I'm pushing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you do you record all your music at your house now? Not all, not this okay. yet. Yeah, but a lot, a lot, a lot get done here. Man, that's that's nice and convenient to be able to just go wake oh, up and, and get get after it. Yeah, I'm in the studio. I'm in the studio now. But the only one thing, my studio now became like my my um my um place to to store my my tools and equipment because you see, it's a cooler. Yeah. See man, it's a lot up, but then, then you know all the stuff. That's another computer over there. That stuff over there. Yeah. When my girls be doing virtual school, set it up for them. You know, the, the, it's pad, yeah. it's pads on the wall. Uh huh. You know, I did all this myself. You can see it's pad. That was a window. It's all pad. Oh uh, yeah. I I I filled it in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did the work myself. Yeah, man. How uh, how was virtual school, or how is it? How is that? That was awesome for me. I I I I rather I rather have that still now because I could be here with my girls. Yeah. And um, my 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 youngest her GPA went up from a three point three zero to three point seven six. Wow, that's amazing. Are you are they still doing virtual school now? They do it only on Fridays. Okay. But I didn't go back to school. Pardon me. I was up early, man. I was up like no four. Worries. No worries. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I I got one more question for you. And then go uh, ahead, man. Um, if you had the ear of everybody in the world, what would you say to mm-hmm. them, Cliff? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Mm. 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 I I I think this I think this my, my word for them is mm, no no I, I my thing is no Know the creator in yourself. Why I say that? Because the one who created you is almighty creator. You know? And I think once we get the understanding of who the almighty creator is, and we understand that the creator within ourselves, understand, and really understand the creator in ourselves, we then become more humble. I believe so. Yeah. I believe we become more humble. Because then we realize there's really nothing to make any big noise about. Right. Because whatever it is I can do it, I can accomplish it. 
I want love, I can love. Or hate, I can hate. But you know, the greatest is part of it, you want to love. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, see, I want to get spooky. Oh, love, love, love. And love is awesome. But if you don't understand, if you don't understand me, love don't mean nothing. Yeah, that's very true. So, yeah, I say understand. Understand the creator. Know the creator. Understand the creator in you. And understand and know your creator. And I think everybody would be good. You learn everything else from that. Love, everything. Everything you learn from that. Yeah, that's beautiful, yeah. man. Yeah, man. You say it's a beautiful, you want beautiful human podcast, man. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's, that, that's what I believe, man. Every, you know, every human's beautiful. And I'm not talking, yeah, I'm not talking the physical. No. Yeah, talk about the beauty. Listen, we all came from one. There's one spirit, you know. That you want to have one spirit. And that's the spirit of the divine creator. Now your understanding is how you're going to govern that spirit. Right. How you, how, what, what information you're going to put in that spirit to strengthen and empower and do what needs to be done for that spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah. To operate. And it's truth and it's fullness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That's so beautiful. Well, Cliff, man, I, I appreciate your time, brother. It is so appreciate good. To, you, brother. Appreciate it, you for giving me the time, man. You know? It is so good to see you. It is it's just been so so good to catch up and you know hear about your life and just just get to know you better, my friend. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, man. Ben, it's been it's been yeah, I'm like, 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 Boogie Bond and say, it's not an easy road. I mean, it's in the glamour and the glitter, so I'm going to take a better road. But who feels his nose? Ooh. Yeah, man, you know, so, <laughs> um, yes, you just got to stay, stay focused and, you know, trust the creator in you. And then remember the divine, the, the almighty creator. You get. Yeah. And love. And you'll understand love. Yeah, man. So much beauty, man. Yes, it is, brother. All right, brother. Well, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And I appreciate you, you hanging. Brother. My pleasure, man. All right. I'll talk All to you right, soon. Bless you. All right, See brother. You. All right, bless. Thank you for listening to the Beautifully Human podcast. To hear more beautiful stories from beautiful humans, Follow us on Spotify and rate, review, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Follow us on Instagram at the Beautifully Human Podcast. Peace signs up.